and we are back. Hi, everybody. My name's Andy, and I'm from the website Counting the Lights, and I've got another Kinpuro card pack, volume 15 from last November, that I'm going to be unboxing. And there's also some other fun stuff that I got this week that I want to share with you, and the camera's over there. i got to remember that. So first off, everybody's very excited about Shinsuke Nakamura coming, and look at this. Will you look at that? How beautiful is that? And the only thing I'm worried about this figure is I hear that AJ Styles has some backstage heat with Vince because he signed another toy deal before he signed with the company. And boy, when Vince sees that, he is going to get all salty with Shinsuke Nakamura. Don't be surprised if he does the job on the third appearance of SmackDown cleaning Chris Jericho. Oh boy. Nakamura, Sami Zayn. Can you see that? Yep, it's going to be happening in Dallas. And I can't wait. That's going to be pretty damn exciting. All right, now the other thing this week, besides the Kinburo cards, I also bought some wrestling zines. I forget the website, but somebody gave me a link for a zine company that sold wrestling zines. And I bought a few and just a couple of comments. First off, Atomic Elbow which I liked a lot. This reminded me of one of my, my all-time favorite design. My all-time favorite design was by Raven Mac, and it was called the Confederate Mac, and he used to talk about a lot of cool stuff, like wrestling, like movies, like lifestyles. This reminded me of that, so I'll be picking up some more of those. I also got, one second, everything's off camera. I got a couple issues of Rudo Can't Fail. And I guess there is a Lucha Loot Crate style thing that comes out. And these come with it. But I bought these separately. Interesting reads. I especially like this one with Rey Mysterio and Psychosis. Although they interviewed Psychosis and he got hit in the head way too much. Because he doesn't remember stuff right at all. Recommend both of those as well. And then the final one I got. And this is my favorite. This is a British publication. Not really a design. It's more of a regular magazine. It's called The Tag Rope. And this is from last summer. Lots of interesting stuff in this one. Really enjoyed that a lot. So I would check that out. Go online. Uh, I'm sure if you Google search, you can find a place to buy that. Okay. So all of that's out of the way. Let's get to the main event. Today is a Saturday. Day before Valentine's Day. I'm here in Pittsburgh. It is cold as hell. I'm not leaving my house. But I saw the mailman come, and I knew that these cards were coming, and I got all excited and ran out without a jacket and in my house shoes to get these. And, oh my God, talk about Valentine's Day starting off right by PR card. Are you ready for this? For Valentine's Day, love machine gun. Machine gun with Maria. It was a creepy-ass angle. But that's a pretty special card. That is the Valentine's Day card you want to get this year. For your PR card. Carl Anderson's got, what, three more matches in New Japan? I think he's working New Beginnings tomorrow. And then he's working the ROH shows. And then he's off to Vince Land. So we'll see what happens. First pack. Got my scissors. Now, as I understand it, there aren't any American or foreign wrestlers in this. And so there's no Bullet Club guys. And uh, somebody told me this is the first time Liger was in any of these, and there's a lot of Liger cards. And Liger, of course, as with everyone else, one of my favorites. So let's hope for some special Liger cards or for some other stuff. I don't think there's any Yano cards either this time, which I'm a little bit disappointed of. All right, I didn't cut that one quite right. Uh, again, I got these from Pro Central Shop. I got the Nakamura figure from Pro Central Shop. So you definitely want to check that out. He has got the good stuff and check it all the time. Uh, looking forward to buying some other stuff from there. All right. First card is Goto. Goto, very interesting guy I like. Very disappointed in yesterday's title match against Okada. Um, I don't know what happened there, but I like the paint job that he did. The camera's over there. I did like the paint job that he did. Um... But the match was just nothing. And don't look at the paintings in the background. That's like kid stuff that's up there. He's got a move. His move card is a neckbreaker. He should have done that yesterday. 
And who is this shiny card for? Twist and shout. I'm not sure. Oh, okay. It's Tanahashi. There's a picture on the back. It shows me the damage report. So that's Tanahashi. And look, it's shiny. It's a shiny Tanahashi. Always like the shiny cards. Okay. So yeah, Goto, what was up with that? You didn't show any of the fire you did in attacking Okada prior to the match. And then you come out work worse locks and uh, basically didn't show me anything there. I was kind of disappointed in that. Maybe uh, I read some stuff online, people suggesting that Goto should just stay with uh, Ring of Honor for now. Might not be a bad idea. I don't know what's going on with him. Naito? Those ignorables? I'm not even going to try to pronounce his chill word. And here he is slapping Shibata. Shibata and Ishii had a great match yesterday. Here he is slapping the crap out of Shibata. Always fun to see. And this is one of the young lions, Ebikatami. And the camera's over here. I'm having a hell of a time with this camera, folks. I'm sorry. Egitabi, pack number two. I don't know how often these come out. I really like them, though. I enjoy the unboxing. I enjoy having the cards. It doesn't take up a lot of space in my overcrowded room. Oh, 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 look at this. All right, now, I was told this box had a lot of Liger, and I've got a Liger. Look at Chushin Thunder Liger. Gotta love him. Remember when he started in 89? Getting tapes just to see Liger. And when somebody else was talking about this, you kids don't know how lucky you have it today with your Daily Motion and your root Russian YouTube and your YouTube. I mean, back when we started watching Japanese wrestling in the 80s, you had to wait for the list from Jeff Lynch. And an eight-hour tape was $25. And so you would go through the catalog and try to figure out how you can match up shows just to get eight hours worth of stuff to uh, get from Jeff Lynch, and you get three or four of those, spend a hundred bucks. Oh, those are great times. And then you pass them around and never get them back. So, uh, there's his move on Tiger Mask. And here's another one of my favorites, and it's another shiny card. And this is El Samurai. Another junior legend. He's no longer wrestling, as far as I know. I haven't seen him show up for uh, Real Japan or for FMW or, or on any New Japan shows. But it's shiny and he is giving somebody a power bomb. Call a Samurai Bomb. That is three packs down. Pack number four. Oh, I'm wearing a Yahoo shirt, by the way. I got a Shinsuke Nakamura shirt from Pro Wrestling Tees before they stopped selling them. Because who knows what kind of shirts. I don't really like Fed shirts. Although I did get the Asuka shirt. I like that. Okay, more shiny stuff. This is um, awesome. Regular Kushida card. Kushida looks very studious in this portrait of him. Shoulder arm breaker from Kushida. And look at that. Kushida winner, best of the Sunyu Jupiter. Look how shiny that is. Another shiny card. That's amazing. All right, one, two, three, four. Pack number five. I was watching uh, Minoru Suzuki. They had a video of him opening these. So he inspired me today. He's not in these cards, but I love Suzuki. Rainmaker Okada? With the belt, looking all champion-like. He's going to have that belt for a while, folks. Here is his boost move with Bad Luck Fale, and he's just kicking him in the head. Uh, kick him, take him while he's down. Kick him like a dog. Look at this guy, Tony. And what is this? This is another appropriate Valentine's Day card. Um, Taguchi, standing by Godo. And just look enamored, and I'm not sure who Goto is staring down with his laser eyes, but uh, it looks like love, and love is a wonderful thing, right, folks? Yes, indeed. 
Oh, I'm so glad I got these because it's like 10 degrees out and I'm not going anywhere. So this is a good night to get these. Thanks again, Pro Central Shop. Again, I bought these, I think, on Tuesday or Wednesday. They're here on Saturday. Fast, fast service. All right. Tanahashi, he's a high flyer. He plays everything like the guitar. He's, I assume, I guess. What is that? Yeah, he's playing his uh, G1 trophy like a guitar. Because he broke some legs to win. Yep, that's right, folks. He's a leg breaker. He doesn't break a leg, but he is a leg breaker. That's a little joke for all my theater friends. I guess this is another shiny? Another Okada? Looks shiny to me. Grade 3. It's got a little reflection to it. How many shiny cards is that? There's almost been a shiny card in every other pack. There's a lot in this one. I gotta figure out how to play this game sometime. I know there's gonna be some guides and whatever. Get more people buying them. Oh, here we go. Yoshihashi. Yoshihashi, now that Nakamura's gone, buddy, you gotta step up. Forget the loose explosion. Just start kicking some ass. With your chaos, boys. Forget about the schoolboy. The schoolboy is his move, but like I said, he just needs to start punching people in the head as hard as he can. That's what makes the fans happy. Sends everybody happy afterwards. Here is the young lion. Komatsu, who is now raging in CMLL Lucha. His new tights look awesome. And I know this coming Tuesday night, he's having his first match that's going to be streamed on their YouTube channel. And I am looking forward to that. I watch CMLL Friday nights on the live stream every Friday and just have a heck of a good time. Loved it last night. They're doing backstage segments. If you don't watch CMLL, you got to start watching now. They're doing backstage segments. They did a backstage segment with Barbario Cabanaro last night, which was just the greatest thing I've ever seen in my life. Anything better than anything I've ever seen on Raw. And uh, just awesome. Awesome stuff. Love some Lucha. Lucha Underground was great this week. They took Aerostar, who's a great wrestler, turned him into a Legion of Superhero. What can you say about that? Oh, here we go. Shinsuke, Shinsuke, Shinsuke Nakamura. With that bright smile of his. Here is his boost move. Where he's just rubbing hair conditioner on Nagoto's chest. Just because he's awesome like that. There is a damage point on the card, so... The other long, young lion who's now gone to Mexico, Shotanaka. Very handsome card. Looking forward to those guys in CMLL. I bet they do well. All right. We've got two of these left. This is exciting. This literally just came in the mail like five minutes ago. And I ran outside and set everything up and grabbed everything because I'm just so excited to have the cards. I couldn't bear not to open them right away, so I had to videotape it. Just to get my reaction. All right. David Finley. Son of Fit Finley. Growing his hair out. Looking for good things from him. He's got a sleeper hold. On Alex Shelley. Is it on Shelley? Shelley! Shelley! Sleeper hold on you, my friend. And here I got this, I got a repeat. That's a little disappointing. Same box getting a repeat. But I am enjoying this. These these are awesome. I got a few shiny ones here. My last pack. Last pack, main event. I'm not leaving for the main event. I got that reputation years ago, but that's when Bret Hart was in the main event. And uh I never saw a Bret Hart match I didn't like because I didn't see many of them. I would get up and leave. Was not a fan. I know everybody worships Bret Hart, but, you know, trust me. I'll show the 90s. It was time to go. Beat the traffic. All right. <gasps> I got another Samurai. I love Del Samurai. 
Man, the juniors in the 90s with Samurai and Lager and the CMLO guys and the Michinoku Pro and Osaka Pro. Oh, with Delphin, Osaka Pro was like one of my favorites. Michinoku Pro was pretty cool too for a while. Up till like when Great Sasuke just shot on the BMX biker kid. What was the kid's name with the bike gimmick that he just shot on, the hell on? I don't know. It was really good. Samurai Clutch? Samurai Clutch uh, could use that right now. And this is my last card of my last pack. And this is Volume 15, the Strong Style Special for the Kinoporo cards. What do you get at Poro Central Shop? And there'll be more boxes coming out and more sets coming out. I got a shiny lager. Jushin Thunder Lager. So, what's that? About a half a dozen shiny cards in a box. Some really awesome stuff in this one. I'm, this one came out in November. This isn't the current one. But really liking that. So check out the cards. Check out some of the designs. Especially, hold on, going off camera. The top rope. Really recommend this one. Really enjoy this a lot. Uh, you get high quality stuff here. This was like eight bucks, I think. Definitely worth going out of your way to take a look at. All right. Visit our website, countinglights.com. Big things coming. Hopefully, hopefully soon. Uh, maybe we'll get back to podcasting. I'm going to try to get some of the other guys in on doing this unboxing. But go check it out. Check out some of the old stuff we did. And as new stuff comes in, my name is Andy, Counting Lights. Hopefully, you'll see more of these. All right. I'm out of here. Take it easy.